Now, of course, we are going to be starting with Marth, a bit of a slower character, looking at more of range, and we're going to be playing against Sheik. Now, what do we know about Marth Sheik? Now, of course, we're looking out for her grab. Her grab can be very punishing. We're going to make sure we're going to punish her with ours. And that is absolutely fine that she jumped. And so, of course, we could have been able to get a kill there, but we're just going to refresh a little bit. We don't want to get punished by Sheik here. We love for Sheik to roll away. We wanted to cover center. That's why we did stay towards center there. So, again, we're watching out for grab. We're moving very far away. We're not. We're okay with jab. That's not a grab, so that's perfectly fine. Oh, and I thought Sheik was going to fast fall, so I swung a little bit early. That was a mistake on my part. Just goes to show you your fast fall mix ups do matter. Grab edge, eight frames, then you let go, you jump, you are able to punish Sheik afterward. And there was our jump that I was kind of predicting, but I was just a little bit early. Always make sure you time your stuff right. Sheik is kind of weird to edge guard. There's our first grab. As you can see, it's a good follow-up, good damage, and able to lead to a lot for Sheik. I did not sweet spot well, and that's going to lead to me big getting killed. I could have teched that down smash as well. So that goes to show you the power of Sheik's grab. We were calling that out in the beginning. Needles coming out. We did uh, kind of call that a little bit early. Sheik doing a great job. Again, a little bit early on my part. Sheik continued to hold down after going down, which is why they left the platform. Make sure you hold down, and then you let go. Sheik would not have been hit. If they uh, didn't hold or they didn't hold shield, shield goes farther up than your body, of course. So again, we moved away from the edge right when they grabbed the edge. I thought they were going to be going on stage, but they did not do so. So that was a bit of an awkward situation there. But again, when I have stage control, I'm able to move around very easily. Oh, of course, I want to move away from Sheik's Waveland um, attacks. We need to be crouch canceling these dash attacks, but we are kind of looking out for um, we're kind of looking out for boost grab things like that. We're not assuming that she's always going to just be doing the same option. So we did think that Sheik might not be a little bit earlier. We wanted to go for a runoff fair. We got a jab instead, but that ended up being a blessing in disguise. We crossed the Sheik up. We think the Sheik's going to come back with us. We don't mind dash attack at the edge. Sheik needed to turn around first, so it was not going to be able to get that edge grab before I could move up there. We, we moved over the... Uh, moved over dash attack, which was good. Now I down smash, or my forward smash a little bit late. So again, the Sheik not doing a lot of grabs like we were calling out before, so that's good for us. So we're able to just hold our shield. Marth's shield normally not able to protect protect him very well. We're calling out these cross-ups. Again, Sheik going for a lot of overshoots, so we're just going to go ahead and punish that. But we have to watch out for down tilt. Sheik is going to contort her uh, body in a certain way. Almost got my down tilt out in time, but nothing to worry about there. We're just going to go low. We're going to wait out Sheik's invincibility. Of course, if Sheik did do a um, up B refresh, I would have more to worry about here. So they keep trying to time their get up. Of course, they can just up B snap back to edge, and it would be much harder for me to recover. In fact, it would pretty much be guaranteed. We're going to move right to edge. Of course, we could have run off, done a forward air, run off, double jump down air. But why do all of that when you just grab the edge, delete the stock? It doesn't, it, I don't have to dodge these needles. It doesn't really matter. Because again, if I'm getting the stage positioning, look how much Sheik has to do to get out. So the needles, for me to get the stage position, is perfectly fine. As you can see, the Sheik's trying to get a big opening, but it's tough because they're not getting a grab. And so they had to get all these openings before they were able to get a punish. Of course, we wanted to get a tipper there. Good shield drop on their part. We're calling out the no fastball. We did not get that right that time. That's okay. Good tech. Didn't think they were going to get it.
Double jump fair from edge again, kind of like the prior game. As you can see, some of the habits coming out on the edge. As you could also see, no grabs. We did see a grab from Sheik lead to a big punish into a kill in the first game. We did not see any grabs in the second game. The Sheik was opting to go for big approaches. I should have been punishing with crouch cancel at the earlier percents, did not do so. But what I did do was hit harder. You, call, you saw me call out the lack of fast fall and you saw me start to be able to call out some of the weird contortions of Sheik from her down tilt or from her back air when she was being juggled. You also saw that I was getting some of the edge guards grabbing the edge late or just uh, catching these uh, sneaky double jumps. And again, with Sheik's up B, she is vulnerable for, I think it's like 12 frames or something before she is invincible, before she poofs. Very important to take advantage of that time to her Sheik. Um, of course, we were also making sure we were pressuring her. We took the needle damage. We weren't afraid and we pressured her and put her in a difficult spot where she had to start swinging and she wasn't sure what to do. And then we were able to roll from there. So this goes to show you the power of center of stage, especially when you're playing as Marth. And um, also with Sheik, you wanna make sure that you're staying mobile and uh, you're also getting your grabs and you're able to hit hard. Anyway, GG's Disco Man. Okay. Now we're going to be getting into a game with Falco. Now, of course, we're going to be using more buttons. We're going to be making sure we're locking down with lasers. And we're going to be playing against Peach. Now, it's very important in this matchup that we don't spam lasers because Peach can float over them. So notice how I'm, I'm not lasering. I haven't lasered in a little bit. Very important to keep that in mind. We're going to forward air push Peach this way. Now notice we stopped lasering for a little bit. Really want you Falco players to keep this in mind. How do you beat Peach lasers, or Peach floating over lasers? You stop giving her chances to do that. Push her this way, we're pushing her off. Again, pushing her off, not down airing. We laser once, stop the, stop the uh, double jump. Laser again, stop the float. Burn the resources, take the stock. You know what she has to do after that. We thought Peach was going to come down earlier. Our laser almost put us in a bad situation. We waited a little bit to see if we could stuff up her DI. She might have held in regardless, but we did wait uh, just to do a bit of a timing mix up. So notice how far away I am when I'm going to do these lasers. So that way, even if I'm wrong, I don't get punished. I did a laser close and was wrong, so I get punished. Notice the difference there. I'm going to go for another one. I tried to turn around for back here, messed up. That's okay. Nose Peach moved back right there. Almost able to make it back. Turn up did patrol my space very well. Good job on Peach's part. Got your. We, we heard the. Uh, whoops. We're we'll gonna be killing with a B at this rate. <laughs> I'm actually meant to jump earlier, instead I ended up goofing off and running past her. So that was a little bit awkward there on my end. But as you can see, Peach was doing a great job at floating in an awkward spot, jumping right as I lasered, making me very indecisive about my plays, which is really good. Very careful when you're attacking Peach on a platform. Could have gotten down smashed again there. Tried to go for a shield there, did not get it out in time. We know this peach is get up attacking a lot. We are starting to punish it more. We just have to be very careful. Again, if we're wrong, we could get down smashed. Did not think that grab would reach, I'll be honest. Oh, got me out of my jump. Attacked up. We're gonna jump, get out of the corner, make a reset. We're gonna charge a little bit. We didn't think Peach would still hold out there, but that is great for us. We tried to get stay between her and center. She was a little bit too high. I needed to move back a little bit more, and that's my fault. We were gonna stay back. We we're gonna look for down smash on platform that time. Well, there's our down smash. We stop lasering because she's high up. We go high ourselves. She has three seconds in float. We need to keep that in mind. Of course, um, Peach cannot break those uh, rules. Now, if I knew my slide-offs better, I would have uh, been able to just get out there and not air dodge. 
There's our slide off. We were ready for that one. I'm getting grabbed out of a lot of my jump startups, so I need to make the attack from a little bit farther away, bait this out, stuff like that. <laughs> Battlefield not having a wall to ride against has taken many lives of many a gamer, and this will be one of those as well. Would be very funny if I took that. Now again, what are we looking for there at the end? We were always making sure we were looking for catching Peach when she was in landing lag. We were also making sure we kept her in the air. We down her on a platform close by us, and we always made sure that uh, we were in a position to back air or up tilt if she did try to counter attack us. Very precise positioning, and you can really see how the match felt very different from the stock before to the later stock when I was able to get a little bit of a stronger punish. Of course, it came off a bit of a misplay on their part. They wanted to keep adding on damage, so I moved to center. I saw that they did a uh, double jump cancel land into grab, so I went for the spot dodge on the second one. I figured they might go for the same type of play again, and they did. That led to a big conversion on my part. Um, very important that you kept in mind how the Peach really started playing around my lasers. They stayed off the ground more. They started using their turnips. They stayed at an ambiguous higher position where I couldn't really laser. I'd have to guess a little bit more, or I'd have to come into them and I'd have to really commit much more to my movement. You notice that it forced me to stop talking so much, focus more on the gameplay, but that is what they were doing. That's why things were awkward, and then they mixed in dash attack appropriately. You did see that a little bit earlier on on Battlefield on the second game. They were coming Coming in when they were landing, when I was unsure if I was going to laser, if I was going to set something up, they landed close enough to where it was going to be a stronger hit. Dash attack is weaker at the end, stronger at the earlier part. They used that effectively against me. Um, GG's Pancakes, thank you for playing.